how to set up and secure MetaMask wallet to start trading DeFi setups. So you can simply come in, download the extension. I will show you how to do it through the browser, but you can also do this through your phone and either pair the devices or have them on both the laptop, the desktop, or the phone. And, uh, or you can have one or the other. So uh, iOS, Android are supported. But for this video, I'm using Chrome. It also works on Firefox, on Brave browser, etc. So you're gonna come in here, click install, add to Chrome, add extension. It's gonna download. And you can see a bunch of jumbled letters. So you'll see, As it confirms, we can click on the extensions and pin it. Got a few things opening up. Uh, so first off, you can come in, you agree to the terms. You can import an existing wallet if you have one already with your seed phrase, or you can create a new wallet. So I always recommend um, saying no thanks to any data collection. You're gonna set up a password. Make sure it's secure. I'm just gonna use a very basic one for the purposes of this video, as I will be destroying this wallet afterwards uh, because I'm showing seed phrases, et cetera. But uh, just a dummy wallet for your purposes, you would, I would recommend writing it down, storing it somewhere secure. Do not take a snapshot, do not store it on the cloud. Uh, keep it offline if possible. I use a little black book or um there are password managers as well but just keep in mind those can be compromised as well <clears throat> so i always do recommend securing your wallet um for this um you do recommend or i do recommend securing the wallet it's going to give you some seed phrases or your recovery phrase and obviously i do not want to share this so i'm going to uh delete this wallet afterwards but this is what it looks like so you can save it in password manager uh save it store in a safe deposit box write it down and store in multiple secret places um keep it simple i don't recommend losing your seed phrase uh <laughs> because that is the number one way people have lost access to their crypto. So quickly write it down and it's gonna give you a little test afterwards and we'll get right into the wallet. Once they were written down, click next and they're gonna give you the little test. So I'm gonna complete the test. And then we can move on. So quickly, wallet MetaMask cannot recover your secret recovery phrase. That's why you want to have it written down. If you did not, go back and do that now. Uh, they'll never ask you for your secret recovery phrase. Do not share this with anyone. And then never share your secret recovery phrase with anyone. So you can go through the learn more for sure. Uh, I don't. Let's not worry about the advanced configuration now. We'll go through some stuff later. But uh, that's about it. So now that your wallet is set up and backed up, you can either buy Ethereum right through the account, or you can deposit. So uh, for what we do at DTM, we don't do a whole lot of trading on um, Ethereum itself. I do touch on some layer twos like B, uh, like base, pardon me. Um, but BNB is one of the main ones. So you need BNB. And then I do set up uh, base as well. So you can do that. So there are others, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, that you can do. Uh, obviously, you can do whatever you want. Uh, we do uh, sometimes trade on those ones, but it's just going to depend on the activity. So BNB, you can buy BNB directly from a credit card if you want. Uh, as far as receiving or importing tokens, you can do so from here. So you can buy and sell. It'll take you through. Uh, 
Uh, it'll take you through moving crypto, you know, buying crypto, how to buy crypto, uh, different tokens and all that fun stuff. But for the sakes of this video, I'm going to keep it fairly short, fairly straightforward. So uh, if you need to add any tokens, you can import from here. So like Uniswap, for instance, is going to come up. If you have issues with that, you can use the contract address from CoinGecko, just using the co token contract address. So if there's a more exclusive coin that I am using, I will share the contract address so that you can verify it. But um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, you can send here. So if you need to send any tokens, you just put, uh, paste the address or the ENS name there. Obviously, I would need some funds to send. Uh, you can also do swaps right inside the app. So it can be a little bit clunky sometimes. I do recommend going right to PancakeSwap. Uh, you can do it from the browser or you can do it from inside the wallet browser on your phone. Either is fine. Uh, both are pretty quick and easy and it's going to save you some of the headaches. And you can also bridge here as well if you want to bridge funds from BNB to, to Solana and all that fun stuff. But uh, again, I'm going to try and keep this video fairly short and concise. So uh, just cleaning up some of these browsers quick. There are some recommended snaps that I do add on after this. So snaps are basically you know add-ons where you can increase your interoperability your security communication and account management so we're going to focus on security for this video um coming in you can scroll in so you just come to the page most popular scroll down and you'll see guard your wallet so this is where uh, I do use the asset risk detection from go plus security you can simply view Add to MetaMask. Fresh. There we go. So third-party software, definitely want to take a look. And then we simply hit connect. Installed. So you can go to the website to get started with this now. Installation complete, connect, and then start detection. Seeing as I have no uh, information, it'll basically just continue running. And then the other one that I do use is Quick Intel. So uh, you can add whichever ones you want. There are a lot of that, a lot of snaps, but um, it's not totally recommended uh, for those that want to keep one wallet instead of having a Solana wallet as well. You can simply add the snap from Soulflare. So this is a quick and easy one. Simply hit connect again, confirm, install Solana wallet, confirm installed so pretty quick and easy once you're all done that's pretty much it and then uh there's other stuff that you can do so if you're unable to get bnb or solana or anything like that you can simply come to StealthX and you can swap from ethereum to basically anything that you need whether that be you know solana whether that be bnb or XMR, whatever you prefer, you can do through do so through this exchange. So it is limitless, custody free cryptocurrency exchange with no registration or account needed and private. So you simply pick a crypto, enter the wallet address, send the deposit and receive the funds. Very quick, very easy. I use it all the time and it's non-custodial. So hopefully this video helps. That is it for this video. Uh, once you are set up, once you do have your coin, you can start trading. It's as easy as doing a couple swaps and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.